Currency demonetization has been a radical financial step as the 500 and 1000 denomination currency were declared invalid on November 8. It has been basically directed as a move against all the black money holders and to tackle corruption since only the higher denomination notes are used for such purposes and also the same are usually counterfeited. India had seen demonetization before too in 1946 when the then existing 1000 and 10000 denominations were declared invalid by the RBI. In the near term, real estate, housing financing companies, jewelry and micro small and medium enterprises would get affected. India is not yet ready for cashless transactions. Every bank branch in a rural and semi urban center caters to more than double the number of people in an urban and metropolitan center. The majority of its population is in rural India and forcing them to do online transactions by limiting cash withdrawals through bank and ATMs will only create anguish over the government. There has been an uneven traffic at the ATMs and banks to exchange old currency notes causing inconvenience to general public. However, the move will successfully add new taxpayers to the income tax department's database but it will be interesting to see if it brings out the big fishes rbi has formed a task force under its deputy governor to recalibrate all atms and cash dispensing machines with the new rupees 500 and 2000 notes the ministry of finance has just put out a press release on how things are proceeding as far as demonetization is concerned the issuance of the new series of 500 notes has already commenced and expected to reach to the big community by the next week banks have been advised to increase the limit of dispensing cash to rupees 2500 for withdrawal from bank accounts the weekly limit of rupees 20000 for withdrawal from bank accounts has also been increased to rupees 24000 niti ayog vice chairman had said cleaning of the black money is a very positive step transactions will now begin to move to white economy through the banking system which means there will be surge in bank deposits and the money supply will shrink to some degree this will reduce inflation rate in the absence of any open market interventions by the RBI on the other front rupee seems all set to fall steeply in the short term lakhs of crores of old notes cannot find their way to gold and real estate hence an easy escape route for them is to get converted into euros and dollars once that starts happening foreign currencies will be in heavy demand and rupee will officially decline in a quarter or two the huge cash collection by banks will find its destination and will strengthen indian economy and consequently rupee from the core then rupee will start getting stronger against most currencies and touch new heights gradually our prime minister narendra modi has appealed to the people to bear the pain till january since it is for the greater good of india there has been some discomfort to the people due to his decision but there is more gain i will stand with you he said he also mentioned that your sacrifice won't go in vain everyone will adjust and while it can hurt some small businesses and individuals it is better to do it than not so far it is said that this is a historical step and should be supported by all one should look at the bigger picture which will definitely fetch results in the long term this is what the people have been asking for a long time and which has finally happened